In this video, I want to talk about some of the capabilities of Django and point to some of the bigger tech companies and websites that have either used Django or currently use Django in their tech stack and use them as a reference point to show you what you can really do with Django and the type of things that you can actually build with it. So I've wanted to make this video for a while, but I got a comment today that uh, really encouraged me to make this sooner. So this comment is kind of a common issue in the industry where people think that they need a certain tech stack or a language to be successful. So I'll paraphrase it. And I'm assuming this person is just curious and doesn't really understand um, too much about programming. So I'm not trying to insult them, but I did want to address it. So I'll paraphrase it, but they said, please promote a language which gives you a real chance to start businesses like PHP. So PHP is great and you can do a lot with it. And so can you with Django along with Node.js, Ruby on Rails, and a lot of other stuff out there. So there's not one language that will really make you successful as long as you pick something that is popular out there that you can actually learn from and that suits your style and fits the needs that you're trying to accomplish. Some of these do certain things better than others, but just to address that comment, um, I'm gonna list out some of the tech companies that actually use Django. So if I go through my list here, I listed out five. We have Instagram, Pinterest, Udemy, Dropbox, and Spotify. So that should give you an idea of the type of websites that can actually be built with it and the scalability. I'm not sure if Instagram still uses Django, but I do know that they rely heavy on Python and they did scale to, I believe, over a million users with Django. Um, don't quote me on that, but this is what I found on Google just by doing a quick search and uh, just doing some research on companies that use Django. So there's a lot of big tech companies that use it that have already really done the groundwork for us that have proven to us that we can build it. And most of us are not gonna be building these crazy applications, but you can always scale these and then adjust later, but the framework should not be your worry as long as you can make it work. So what I would recommend, if you're curious on the type of things that you can build with it, I went to stackshare.io and on that website, what you can do is actually just do a search for uh, a certain language or a library and it'll show you all the companies that have registered that actually use it. So this should give you a pretty good idea of the companies that are hiring for it, how it's being used and um, what you can actually do with it. Another one is go to Stack Overflow or go to LinkedIn and look up jobs that uh, are hiring for Django developers and you'll see the type of websites or applications that these people are building. Another thing is people always ask me, um, what type of, or can I build a certain type of website? And they'll say things like, can I build a social network? Can I build an e-commerce website like Amazon? And the answer to all of those is yes, if you, if you go ahead and apply it along with the tech stacks that are required with it. So for example, if you wanted to build uh, an e-commerce website, you can use Django to accomplish most of the things that you need. Um, maybe you'll, you'll use a front end library like React or you just wanna use vanilla JavaScript. Django will build out a good backend and can really scale for you. So the answer is absolutely yes, you can do a lot with that and build out most of the things that you can think of with Django. So you can even go as far as mobile applications. Not that Django will actually handle all that for you, but it will provide a backend. And if you wanted to use a, a framework like um, React Native or Flutter or any other way to build an app, you can use Django to build out that API and actually connect with it and use it as the, the data source and actually handle inputs and outputs of the data itself. So Django can definitely handle all of that. And again, just, just use some of the companies out there as a reference point, especially some of the bigger ones to see that, um, yes, you can scale. I think Instagram is a pretty good example of showing you how, how big an application can actually get. So the last thing I wanted to leave you with here is again, just to address that and say that you don't need a specific tech stack but Django can do it for you, but do whatever suits you and fits whatever you're trying to do. So if you're looking for a job, find a language or framework that has a lot of job openings and you're comfortable with actually learning. So go ahead and do that. And thanks for watching this video.